You won't believe how this Disney fan got absolutely destroyed by Critical Drinker in a debate over the train wreck that is the Snow White remake. Yes, you heard that right. Someone actually tried to defend this mess of a movie, and it didn't end well. For all of you who don't know, Snow White has become the latest casualty of Hollywood's obsession with woke politics. Instead of giving us the classic fairy tale we all loved, Disney decided to butcher it with their tired modern twists. And this fan? They trotted out the same weak excuses Disney has been pushing, like how the original is dated and needs a feminist overhaul. But let's just say, it didn't go as planned. So, why did this fan's defense crumble so fast? And why is Disney so desperate to ruin another beloved classic? Keep watching. Critical Drinker isn't just some random guy with an opinion. He's one of the sharpest voices on YouTube when it comes to exposing Hollywood's failures. His video on the Snow White trailer blew up with millions of views, and for good reason. He's known for tearing apart bad films, especially when they're drenched in the kind of woke nonsense that Disney keeps serving us. When Critical Drinker speaks, people listen, because he doesn't sugarcoat anything. He calls it like he sees it, and in the case of Snow White, he sees a disaster. He was crystal clear, this movie is a complete misfire, visually and conceptually. On the other side, we've got a die-hard Disney fan, someone so deep in the Disney bubble, they'll defend any decision the company makes, no matter how ridiculous. This fan stepped up to the plate, trying to justify the changes Disney made to the classic Snow White story. You know the drill. Oh, the original is outdated. It's time for Snow White to be empowered. But here's the kicker. This isn't just about a simple remake. The stakes are much higher. Disney is trying to defend a film that's already been torn to shreds by millions. The backlash is real, and people are fed up with the constant political spin. The Disney fans' defense of the Snow White remake was about as predictable as you'd expect. Right off the bat, they went straight for the same tired talking points we've been hearing for months. The 1937 film is outdated, and it's time for a fresh, modern take. According to them, Snow White needed to be reimagined to fit today's world, and of course, that meant stripping away everything that made the original beloved. No more prints, no more true love, because apparently those ideas are problematic now. This fan really believed that people wanted a more empowered Snow White, someone who's focused on leadership instead of love, a character reshaped to fit today's politically correct mold. But here's where it starts to crack. The fan's entire defense relied on political and ideological rhetoric. They weren't defending Snow White as a film or story. They were defending a checklist of modern talking points. And that's where it became painfully obvious that they weren't connecting with the audience at all. People didn't care about seeing Snow White become the next feminist icon. They wanted the magic, the romance, the fairy tale. The fan kept doubling down on how this new version was progressive and necessary for the times, but the more they talked, the more it felt like they were defending an agenda, not a movie. Then came Critical Drinker's response, and it was brutal. He didn't waste any time getting straight to the point. The movie looks terrible. He hit hard on the dwarfs, calling them nightmare fuel. And let's face it, he wasn't wrong. This is a movie that was made in 1937. Oh, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937, and very evidently so. And it's being remade in 2024, and you sit here moaning about the differences between those two movies, like 1937 were the glory days. Let's bring in our two YouTube experts, because Critical Drinker, your YouTube video on the trailer has now been viewed nearly two and a half million times. And you said the new dwarf's look is nightmare fuel. Yeah, so what they've obviously tried to do is um, retain the artistic aesthetic of the cartoon from the 1930s, but transpose it into a live action movie and it just looks horrific. It's so out of place. And when you see them dancing next to Rachel Zegler, who's an actual human actor, it just looks awful. They, they don't match up. They're deep into the uncanny valley. Uh, it is the worst possible Have choice they could have made. It would have been Rabbit. so much... It would be so much easier if they just used actual dwarf actors. I don't know why they haven't done that. The visual aesthetic of the dwarfs was jarring, to say the least. It looked like Disney was more concerned with ticking diversity boxes than actually creating something that looked good on screen. Critical Drinker focused on what matters, the film's quality. He wasn't interested in political talking points. He was calling out what everyone else saw in the trailer. It was ugly. At this point, the Disney fans started to lose ground. The cracks were showing, and it was clear they didn't have a real defense for how bad the movie looked. But don't worry, things are about to get a lot worse for them. Stay tuned. This is where the Disney fan starts to crumble, and it's not pretty. Critical Drinker, in classic fashion, hammered in on the one point that completely obliterated the fan's entire defense. A bad movie is a bad movie, no matter how political you try to make it. And that's the brutal truth here. You can dress it up in all the political buzzwords you want. Talk about empowerment, representation, or how the original is outdated. 
But if the movie itself is trash, none of that matters. People don't go to the movies to get lectured. They go for entertainment. And this Snow White remake looks like anything but. Drinker skillfully shifted the conversation away from politics, where the Disney fan had been trying to keep it, and put the spotlight right back on what matters, the quality of the film. And the simple fact is, the movie looks awful. The dwarves are a nightmare, the CGI is off, and the visuals don't even come close to capturing the magic of the original. And let's not forget Rachel Zegler, whose snide, self-righteous comments about the original Snow White only made things worse. She called the prince a stalker, completely disrespected the classic fairy tale, and alienated fans who grew up loving the 1937 film. The Disney fan, trying desperately to stay in the fight, attempted to brush off Zegler's comments, suggesting they were misunderstood or taken out of context, but the damage was already done. Fans don't take kindly to a beloved story being trashed by an actress who clearly has no respect for the material. The Disney fans' weak attempts to defend Zegler and the modernized Snow White were laughable at best. They couldn't counter the undeniable truth that fans are fed up with Hollywood's constant need to rewrite everything through a woke lens. As Critical Drinker kept hammering in on these points, the Disney fan had nowhere left to turn. Every response was met with another hard-hitting reality. This remake is a flop, and it's not just because of politics, it's because it's a bad movie. Quick break. If you're enjoying this takedown of Disney's latest flop, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more brutally honest breakdowns. Now let's talk about the real train wreck. Disney's marketing strategy for Snow White, or should I say, lack of one. Nerdrotic didn't hold back, and for good reason. Fans are offended by Rachel, Z Rachel Zegler's comments uh, disrespecting the movie that made Disney. And this is why there is one million dislikes on this trailer. He called out what everyone's been thinking. This movie's marketing has been a disaster from day one. Instead of focusing on what made Snow White a timeless classic, the romance, the magic, the fairy tale wonder, Disney has pushed politics to the forefront. They've shoved the empowerment narrative down our throats, acting like the original story is some relic of the past that needs to be corrected. And who better to deliver that correction than Rachel Zegler, the actress who thought it was a great idea to call the original prince a stalker. Yeah, that went over well. Rachel Zegler's comments have been nothing short of disrespectful to the very story that made Snow White a household name. She's been on a mission to trash the original film, calling it outdated and implying that modern audiences need something more progressive. But here's the thing. Fans didn't ask for this. No one wanted Snow White to be transformed into some politically correct sermon. People loved the original for what it was, a simple, beautiful fairy tale about love and hope. And instead of leaning into that, Disney let Zegler run wild with her ego, turning off the core fan base in the process. Even Disney's most loyal fans are struggling to defend this mess. The marketing hasn't focused on the story, the characters, or the magic that made the original special. Instead, it's all about how this new version is revolutionary, because Snow White doesn't need a prince and is now a feminist icon. But guess what? Fans don't care. They care about a good story, compelling characters, and a film that honors its roots. And this marketing campaign has been the exact opposite. It's like Disney thought they could ride the wave of woke politics all the way to the bank. But instead, they've alienated the very people who would have paid to see the movie. By the time Critical Drinker and Nerdrotic were done dissecting the marketing failures, the Disney fan was left clinging to straws. They couldn't argue with the facts. The marketing was an unmitigated disaster, and no amount of corporate spin could save it. The stage was set for the fan's final downfall, and there was no coming back from it. And here it comes, the knockout punch that left the Disney fans speechless. After tearing apart the visuals, the terrible marketing, and Rachel Zegler's tone-deaf comments, Critical Drinker delivered his final blow. He laid it out plain and simple. This Snow White remake doesn't even know what it's about anymore. Is it a love story? Nope. That's been thrown out. Is it a fairy tale? Not anymore. It's been turned into some empowerment message about leadership, because apparently Snow White needs to stop dreaming about love and start dreaming about becoming a leader. But here's the problem. That's not Snow White. And you've got a story about the search for true love that's no longer about true love. It's about what, is, power. what even is this movie? Exactly. The original I story mean. is problematic. Why is everyone ignoring what? that? But it didn't stop there. What really pushed this disaster over the edge was Rachel Zegler's decision to dive into the world of political activism, right in the middle of the movie's promotion. Her public support of Free Palestine, while starring alongside Gal Gadot, who's from Israel, set off a firestorm. She then shared the trailer on social media and added Free Palestine, uh, despite the fact that her co-star, Gal Gadot, is Israeli. So you can imagine what that's done. That's just poured kerosene all over the place. 
Does she even yeah, know what Palestine is? Yeah, the promotional tour for this movie is going to be wild, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you get them two together. Critical Drinker made it clear that this kind of unnecessary political drama has no place in a Disney fairy tale. Instead of focusing on the film, Zegler decided to make it a platform for global politics, and it only served to alienate more viewers. At this point, the Disney fan was struggling to even find ground to stand on. The fan tried to argue that Snow White's journey of leadership was empowering, and Zegler's personal opinions shouldn't impact the movie. But Drinker wasn't having any of it. He shut it down by bringing the focus back to what actually matters, storytelling. Snow White is a fairy tale, a story that's endured for decades because of its timeless themes, love, kindness, and magic. By stripping those away and turning it into some leadership lesson, combined with Zegler's tone-deaf political commentary, Disney has completely missed the point. And when a movie forgets what it's supposed to be about, there's no saving it. With each point Critical Drinker made, the Disney fan was left with less and less to hold on to. The final blow landed hard, and there was no coming back from it. They had defended this movie with everything they had, but in the end, even they couldn't argue against the truth. Snow White had been gutted, turned into something unrecognizable, and no amount of political spin or Rachel Zegler's activism could make up for the fact that it was now just a bad movie. The fan was destroyed, left grasping at straws as Critical Drinker stood victorious. With the Disney fan thoroughly demolished by Critical Drinker's relentless takedown, it's time to zoom out and take a look at the bigger picture. What does this mean for Disney? One thing's for sure, this isn't just about Snow White. It's about a pattern of failure that Disney seems hell-bent on repeating. For years now, Disney has been pushing politically charged remakes and reboots of their classic films, and it's backfiring. Hard. Fans are fed up with seeing their beloved stories turned into platforms for Hollywood's latest ideological agenda. The numbers don't lie. Viewership is dropping, box office sales are tanking, and even Disney's most loyal supporters are jumping ship. What we're seeing with Snow White is just the tip of the iceberg. This debate was a small glimpse into the massive backlash Disney is facing, and it's only going to get worse if they keep doubling down on this woke approach. People don't want to be lectured at the movies. They want to escape, to be entertained, to experience the magic that Disney used to be known for. But instead of listening to their audience, Disney keeps forcing these reimagined versions of classics down our throats, completely ignoring the fact that fans are rejecting them in droves. The fallout from this Snow White disaster is already starting to ripple through the company. We've seen it before with movies like The Little Mermaid and Mulan, both of which were criticized for the exact same reasons, a focus on politics over storytelling. And if Disney doesn't change course soon, they're going to find themselves alienating the very audience that made them a global powerhouse in the first place. This isn't just a one-off failure. It's part of a bigger trend of Disney losing touch with its fans and its roots. As Critical Drinker and Nerdrotic have pointed out, this debate is just the beginning. More of Disney's upcoming projects are poised to face similar backlash, and it's only a matter of time before the company is forced to confront the harsh reality. Their reliance on politically charged remakes is driving fans away. What's next? Will Disney finally wake up and stop turning classic fairy tales into ideological battlegrounds? Or will they keep digging their own grave with every new modernized reboot? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. If they keep this up, the magic that once defined Disney will be nothing more than a distant memory. So what do you guys think? Was that Disney fan completely out of their depth or what? Do you think Disney can bounce back from this mess or are they just going to keep spiraling down with more politically charged flops? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I want to hear what you have to say. And if you enjoyed watching this fan get demolished by Critical Drinker, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more no-holds-barred breakdowns of entertainment controversies. Trust me, we've got plenty more to cover and you won't want to miss it.